CMG Editor is the easiest way to customize still and video content from Church Motion Graphics with your own text, shapes, color effects, and more, all without having to use complicated graphic design or video editing software. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the basics of how you can use CMG Editor for your church. We're going to get started from the churchmotiongraphics.com homepage. And we'll navigate to this top bar and click Browse Media. Now, this is going to open up the CMG Media Browser, and this is where everything, all of our content from motion graphics to slide templates, social graphics, and more, all of them are housed in this Media Browser to make them easy to find. To get started, we're going to go down to Browse Media, and as we hover over that, a menu is going to pop up down below showing different columns of the various kinds of content that are available in the Media Browser. Now, depending on what subscription you have, that's what's going to make available things like motions or templates or social. But since still backgrounds are available to everyone for free, we'll start with that. We'll go to the column for stills and click backgrounds. And you'll see that we have over 5,000 still backgrounds available to everyone for free. I'm going to choose to sort by trending. Find a perfect graphic for us to start with. I like this Norwegian tones view. As we click that, a preview window pops up. And you'll see right beneath the preview, there is an open and CMG editor option. Let's click that. A new CMG editor window pops up. And our graphic is ready to start editing. There are lots of tabs here on the sides. Let's start at the bottom tab and just see what this powerful editor can do. I'm going to click the bottom one, which is the transform tab. What I love about this is this graphic started as a 16.9, but say you had a 4.3 screen. You could easily crop, or maybe if you wanted to make a social graphic, you could change it to a square. Really, the possibilities are endless of what you can do with this. You can find the perfect size. Let's keep the size the way we had it, and let's go to the next tab, the Adjust tab. I love this because you can change things like brightness or the contrast really customize the image to make it work for your specific use. I'm going to adjust the highlights, really find that perfect look for our church. Yeah, I like the way that looks. You can see that you have total control over this image. Let's go to the next tab up, and this is filters. I'm going to choose duo tone, go with a style that's kind of already there, and try out a couple different options to see which color is going to work perfect for our church. I think I like the way this deep blue filter looks. So let's go with that. You can even adjust the filter intensity. Now we have a customized still background that's ready to use for our church. But say we want to take this graphic to the next level. Let's go up to the top tab and look at stickers. We have lots of shapes in this collection that we can add to this image. Let's try adding a cross. I like the way that this one looks. And with just a click, you'll see that this shape has been added to our slide. I'm going to click to drag the corner to make it a little bit bigger. And now we have a really creative look with this cross that we could use on our church's screens. I'm going to click to export this image so I have this version of the graphic as well. Yeah, that looks awesome. But let's try something else. Let's delete the cross for now. Let's go to this next tab the text tab. As I click into this, a new text box pops right up and I'm going to double click this text box to edit it. Let's say something like welcome to our church. You'll see that it's automatically been added to this text box. You can adjust the size to find the perfect look. Over here on the left, you'll see that we can change the font. There's many options, but I think I like this one called the bright side. You can change your font size. Your alignment. Your font color. Or even you can add a background color to the text box. If at any point you want a different color than what's shown, just click a color twice and a more detailed color tab pops up. Now, let's just leave it with a transparent background with white text. 
and we'll adjust our line spacing to make it just right for this font. This is starting to look really good, but let's say we want something just a little bit more detailed. Let's delete this for now. And let's go to this final tab, the text design tab. With this feature, there are many text styles that are already added that look awesome. Let's double click to edit our text. Let's say something like, welcome to Youth Night. You'll see that it's been added and it also has a stylized look. I'm gonna jump around and try some different looks here until I find the perfect one. I like the way this looks, but let's say we didn't like the way night was bigger here. It's bigger than everything else. Within this same style, we can click shuffle layout and we'll actually come up with some different ways that we can make the same text look in this style. I like this one. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Now that we have the perfect look, let's click export image. And our customized still is ready to use. Let's try something else. I'm done with this image for now, so I could click close to close this window, just exit out. Or if I wanted to come back later, I could just minimize it. I can have as many of those open as I need to. Let's go and try motions. Let's go to browse media, motions, and click backgrounds. There are many options here for motion backgrounds. We can find the perfect look for us. I think for now, let's try this gradient clouds 22. I really love those colors. Just like with the still, you'll see that we have an open and CMG editor link beneath. Let's click that. You'll see that our motion has popped up here in editor. Now, normally you would need complex video editing software to be able to do what we're about to do, but everything that we're showing you right now can actually be done all in your browser, which is really the power of CMG editor. You won't see as many options when it comes to motions, but we can still add text, text designs, and stickers when we're editing motions which is huge. You can create some really amazing looks with these tools. Using this text box, let's add something that we can use for our Wednesday night service. How about uh, welcome to Bible study? And let's find a font that we really like. I like this caveat bold. Let's change our font size. And adjust our text box. And again, I'm all about changing the line spacing to work with this unique font. I think that looks really good. And let's click export image once we have everything the way we like it. Now with the motion, it's a little bit different than a still. Again, this would normally require some heavy software to make this possible, but we're gonna click build motion to start rendering this video all within the browser. You don't need a fancy computer to make this happen. All of the rendering is actually happening on our site on CMG servers, so this can really be done on any kind of computer. You'll see that a progress bar has popped up letting us know how the rendering is going. And once that's complete, a download button pops up and we're gonna click to download our new motion. It looks awesome and is ready to use on our church's screen. Hopefully you can see the power of CMG Editor now that you know the basics. Again, you can use CMG Editor absolutely for free on any of our still backgrounds, or if you have a CMG subscription, you can add it to things like motions and social graphics and templates. It's really an amazing tool to have. We cannot wait to see how you use it at your church.